The little kiddies sat on the bed. One of them was black and white and fluffy. The other was a tabby cat, striped and adorable in the face. They both hated each other very much. They spent most of the day running around like a bunch of motherfuckers, beating the shit out of one another, hooting and hollering, hissing like a bunch of crazy bitches. Oh, sure, now they're lying on the bed and looking all cute and adorable. This is usually when people who own cats say, well, I sure love my kitties. But the rest of the time, at 4.30 in the morning, when this motherfucker right here scratches the wall, she knows that her claws, when they hit that wall, sound like fingernails on a goddamn chalkboard. Hmm, that's what I thought, bitch. And there she is, throwing shade. Because motherfucker got called out. And this one over here is becoming quite the lard ass. If I was to roll your striped ass over, well, you'd see a big old flabby belly. Isn't that right? Yeah. You look cute now with those sparkly green eyes, but I know the real truth. Every single time Morgan Freeman walks into the kitchen, whether it's to grab a fork or maybe get myself a piece of cheese, this motherfucker always meows. Give me some more snacks, she says. Oh, I could use a few more treats, I think. Maybe now's the time for even more little chewy treats to shove my fucking mouth full of. Hmm. But I give her the treats. I always give her the treats. Well, she'll continue to get fat. She'll continue to plump up. Because who can resist that beautiful face? This is the good one. This is the better kitty. If this were the Sophie's choice of cats, we would call it Kitty's Choice. And I'd be forced, like Meryl Streep, to choose between one of these two kitties. Would I take this angry bitch who wakes me up at 4.30 in the morning, demanding her food, and then when I put that wet food in the bowl, she takes a few nibbles and then trots off like she's the shit? Or would it be this striped kitty who every single time when I walk into the kitchen, she says, hey, motherfucker, I need some treats. Well, the truth is, I would take this one. Morgan Freeman needs his goddamn sleep. I ain't got time to be woken up at 4.30 in the morning. Especially if I got bitches in my bed. You understand me? So just remember you two. You ain't my favorite. But you are. Look at that beautiful face. Show everybody that face. There you go. That's a face only Morgan Freeman could love. Beautiful little kitty. You're the one I'd take with me if the world was coming to an end. It's you, beautiful kitty. Even though you're a pig, you shove your mouth any chance you get with all them goddamn treats. At least you keep quiet in the morning. Like a good kitty should. But you, motherfucker, you got a real pro- Oh, well, you're cute as fuck. You know what? I changed my mind. How could I resist this 
fluffy face. Come on, don't be shy, baby. That's it. Show everybody what you got. That's the way. Nice and close. That's how you do it. Look at those eyes. Those eyes have seen so many things. Those eyes have watched a lot of bullshit. So the both of you just remember, I'm an Oscar winner, motherfucker. I'm Morgan Freeman. I created both of you. And I can take you out of this world if I want to. Anyway, this also applies to human children. Look at how you both looking away from each other now. Mm -hmm. Oh, when we started this video, you was both all cuddled up next to each other. But now, you've chosen sides. Hmm. One the dark side and one the light. That means one of you will be a whiny bitch who takes a lightsaber and destroys things at whim. And the other of you will be a female. A young girl with Jedi powers who does absolutely nothing wrong and finds herself in all kinds of difficult situations but all just manages to get out of them perfectly. Isn't that special? I'm Morgan Freeman. Thank you for watching.